joined in 2003 um, at the beginning of the year and we had just released the first concept watch and it was a big uh, big bet big challenge the, the, the reason it's named the concept it's uh, it's a very modern interpretation of high-end traditional watchmaking. The use of the materials have always been uh, very special, very daring, and um, the case material matches the movement and the materials used in the movement. At the same time, this has always been, this is a fourth generation of the concept watch, and it has always been a complicated watch. Tourbillon, um, uh, GMT, uh, the construction is very uh, avant-garde, uh, the finishes of the surfaces is very avant-garde, obviously very limited uh, quantity, um, 10 days power reserve. Uh, we combine in this watch a lot of challenges, so this is what this watch represents for me. And obviously the, the aesthetics of the watch are very strong, very uh, avant-garde themselves. So. The way we do it, we are using uh, super ceramics, uh, and that material is nine times harder than steel. Very difficult to machine, and knowing that we are known for the finishing of our surfaces, we finish this bezel and other uh, ceramic pot the same way we finish steel. So what took 45 minutes for steel takes eight hours for one part. Uh, so uh, another challenge, so that highlight, uh, it's, uh, it's playful too, um, uh, really shows even more technology uh, used in the piece. What I thought about the collection and the new 42mm offshore um, really impresses me. Why? It's a refresh, it's a breath of uh, new air on, on this 42 iconic piece. And it's been done very, very skillfully and elegantly. The piece is different with the same exact DNA. They worked on details and details that matter. So they were able to refine, do something that is so true to the original version and to the brand, while at some time uh, bringing uh, changes and improvements. Uh, one of them being the uh, see-through uh, glass sapphire from the back, which shows the, uh, the caliber, and that's, that's uh, I think, I think our, uh, our passionate clients will, will actually appreciate that. As when watchmaking appears, it was a very technical um, activity at the time. It is a very technical activity today. I'm going to give you an example. Um, we use a new escapement, we call it the AP escapement. And we want to use it right now in very exclusive watches and in the future maybe in other watches because it has a great precision. It is traditional watchmaking but the design of the system, of the escapement system, makes it very precise. But in fact that escapement was invented in uh, principle, in Seoul, many decades ago. And I think it's a hundred years ago, but I'm not sure. But they couldn't make it. They couldn't make it work because at the time they didn't have the tools to make the parts precise enough so it would work. And AP, using the uh, current state-of-the-art technology, is able to make the parts necessary with the precision necessary and it works. So it's, it's one example of um, the reason why we use technology.